everyone, welcome to The Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jane. And here we are today with Gemma being extremely tall and me being even shorter than usual. Oh, I know. <laughs> She's look how good I look on my step. <laughs> She's on a step. I am deadly not. I should be more like that. But when you're then. on the step, then we're the same. Yeah, so like so we, it's fine. we really this, but... I'm gonna maybe we do a bit of perspective shot. There, there we, we go. go. So I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna be a bit closer. So today we're looking at one dress with several looks. And the reason we wanted to do this is because obviously your accessories, your bridal dress, will make a look and create a certain look for you that you want to keep it down or go for a little bit more sparkle so we've taken this beautiful classic plainer dress now i love this dress for a lot of reasons one of them is it looks fantastic like this it's a little bit of less is more um and obviously the, it's all about the shape so gem looks fantastic oh i just love it yeah she's so got nice. good curves it's been shown off really oh, nicely <laughs> no, i'm all about the flattery today it's because i wanted to do some proper work later mm. so. <laughs> <laughs> but no um, so we're going to have a look at some different looks we're going to go for it with the um oh, all excited there <laughs> Yeah! Go <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to change up a different seasonal looks as well because obviously a dress like this you can do certain things and create different looks and you'll be surprised actually what the difference is. So I'm going to kick off firstly with an overskirt. Now overskirts are brilliant for two different reasons. A, it adds a little bit more interest to the skirt and we've got a silhouette of a fishtail here. And by putting an overskirt on, you then create like more of an A-line dress. So this is fantastic if you want two looks on your wedding day. So you can have one for the ceremony and then the evening one. I feel like you could get married in this one that yes. we're about to show you. And then this is just like your little number. I also just saw my arms doing this lot. <laughs> I was like, why am I going down? <laughs> so I'm going to get my the overskirt. <laughs> so again, with the overskirt, it's a really nice way of this one. It's sparkly as well. So we've got the belt, you see, and then we've got a little bit of sparkle on the skirt. So again, it's going to really add to this dress and create a completely different look. Mm -hmm. so if you hold that there, Jen. Yep. There we go. Oh, look at that. So already we can see Ooh. it's created a completely different look with this dress because we've got now an A-line skirt. Oh. That looks nice, doesn't it's it? Nice, Come on. Isn't it? We've got sparkle, so when you have this plainer skirt. So imagine Jen's going in to her ceremonial ceremony, she's got an A-line dress. Whips it off the evening and you're back to kind of two different looks. And that's just been created by slipping over. It's going to define Jen's waist as well, which is always nice with dresses. You add a little bit of interest here, it breaks it all up. But it's creating again, like I said, that different look. So we're going on to the next one. I do like that actually. No time to waste, Jen. I've got Whip a lot it to off. get through. <laughs> <coughs> so next I'm going to show you, we're going to tone it back down and we're just going to concentrate on this by adding Oh, a, our favourite A lovely sparkly belt and what that's going to do, a little bit like the other overskirt It's going to define Jem's waist I feel like a belt can really, really change a dress yeah. Like we've had ladies that don't, aren't 100% We've put a belt on and they're like, yeah that's my dress Like it could be that strong, can't it? I mean, this is quite a sparkly one, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely and sparkly. Like I say, it's creating a, a bit of a different look. And then say if you team it with a little bit more sparkle in the hair. So we just have something quite simple, but having a little bit of something. All right, I was going to put it in for you. I'll do it myself. Look at me. <laughs> so again, we've got something a little bit minimal here. All we've added is a little bit of sparkle on Jem's hair and a little bit of sparkle on the dress. So again, we've gone for a different look compared to the next one. So then, now, I'm gonna go back to being quite dramatic with this one. Because I'm a dramatic person, I'm gonna go for one of, one of my favorite veils. So here I am. <laughs> We're going for a cathedral length veil, two tier. This is a beautiful veil, I'll show. It's got lace detailing on, I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't Look it? at me! <laughs> Look at that. So again, it's going to really add to it, make it a bit more of a wow look. So imagine as Jim walks in to her ceremony. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> oh God, look at it. And this, again, if you want to create a look for your ceremony that's different to your evening reception, you can do that by an overskirt or by going for it with your veil. I feel like it could be changed, it? Pass me the pearl. Why? Um, pass me the pearl one now! <laughs> little bridezilla on me. <clears throat> oh, now, oh, she I is. I can't, I'm too busy. Oh. So we're 
adding, I'm just gonna have a little zoom up to Gem and you can see. Look. I mean, that's, if you wanna go dramatic, that's lovely, isn't it? And if you wanted lace on your wedding dress, but you love this dress, yeah. you've got all that lace detail about it. Exactly. Love it, but, you? Again, it's a completely different look. I've gone for a little bit more of a wow. And then you strip that off, I take the veil off, and you're just left with your hairpiece. Oh, Jess, oh, can I get it? Nice. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a look, isn't it? But I love this one. This is one yeah. of my favorite ones. So again, we've gone for that. So, now imagine you're getting married and it's winter. Ooh, I'm a bit chilly, James. Are you a bit chilly, James? Let's sort it out then. So again, we're going to add a little bit, to keep it quite minimal. You can go where you want to. So I'm going to add a, a little belt again to define Jem's waist. Messing up my hair, mate. No. <laughs> we're live. <laughs> then we can add a little. So again, we've gone for more. Give me a cigarette, darling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, you look all classy. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at me. Oh, oh, it's really weird. Who is this? <laughs> but again, you've gone for more of a different look now. Um, make it a bit more wintry, a little bit more, well, a bit more glam as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Jim's all like, <laughs> look at me, people, look at me. <laughs> you know when you catch someone, you're like, huh. I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever put one of these on. Have you not? No. And then you could add I'm ready though. <laughs> or every time now Gemma will have it on. So we're gonna give something a little bit more like this in the hair. Again, keep it quite wintry looking, I think. It's a bit wintry looking, isn't it? Yeah. The ice cream! Oh, that's <laughs> probably my hair. <laughs> oh. oh. So again, we've gone oh. for that sort of look. Gems is off on her own little oh, world now. She's like, oh, look at you. I want to play, get me in a dress. Oh, that's really cute actually. So then I think now you can go for more. So say you've got this dress, but you're having a more relaxed sort of wedding. So you're thinking, do I want to keep this formal looking? And your accessories can really tone that down. So say I'm more of a boho wedding. This You wouldn't look at this dress necessarily and go, oh, that's a boho dress. But we can do that with your accessories. There's a couple of ways. So I've got here, really, really pretty. Gold hair. It's like rose gold, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So again, it keeps really relaxing in your hair. I was going to do it for you, Jen. Aww. Aww, that's nice. <laughs> well, I don't know now. Aww. How do you choose? And then, even with that, if you wanted to, there's different options with your veils. Now here we have a flat comb veil compared to the other ones. And with the flat comb, if you've watched our previous videos, you'll understand what I mean when I say about flat comb. And that is how it's gathered in the comb and attached to it. So comparing it to another one, which is a half comb or a full comb, it's really quite ruffled compared to a flat comb. Now what that flat comb will do, especially if you want, if you're not even sure you want a veil, it'll keep it really relaxed and informal and won't make it so structured around here. So therefore you won't almost feel like you're wearing it. But with this one, because it's super soft, it falls really softly. And for me, it's an informal veil. So if you are thinking like more boho, sort of relaxed, you don't want like the drama of having a big veil, but you still want a big veil because why wouldn't you want to? A flat comb, keep it really plain, will do that for you. Oh God, I love it. Gems in. Oh, I mean. See, you're for me like you're kind of like in a forest now. Oh, you've yeah. got wild I'm flowers. Bad. Yeah, you're like you've got wild wild flowers, and you're kind of making the look minimal, but still a wow, which is what you want, really, isn't it? This is my favourite. Yeah, Obviously, like my hair, perhaps a little bit like maybe some braids or yeah. plaits or something. Yeah. I feel like this is so because although it's long and it's really dramatic, it's so light. Yeah. You don't feel like you're wearing a it. A lot of ladies with this veil do always say, I don't feel like I'm wearing a veil. Yeah. Comparing it to the, the other one with all the lace on, I mean, it's amazing. But they're like, I'm very aware I've got it on with this one. Because it's super soft, it hasn't got the detail on. The detail for this veil is the actual fabric of it. Um, but they always say it doesn't feel like I'm wearing one. So I think it's always important to see how that's the gathering of the comb more than anything. So one last look now. We're going full sparkle. This Woo. is, I want to have a little bit of sparkle going on. So. Jack me up. 
So I'm going to keep it again, quite simple and gems hair because I'm going to go for it with the veil. Now here we have a beautiful Ooh. veil. So this one's got little it's little diamonds isn't it yeah i lost my words it's not it's not like, oh my god words. like oh look at the sparkle i forgot what i was doing it's like little twinklets isn't it you don't like some of them twinklets. they've got like, spots don't so they so jen makes up words i don't know if you have it's seen the twinklet it. people on our previous video she makes up a lot of words <laughs> a comfortability was one i do remember from the shoe video which is always good oh, yeah. and then i started using it and i was like oh no lots of people have <laughs> just go back for all our videos it's and, I love wildfire. Yeah. <laughs> and every time jen says a word that doesn't exist have a shot and it could be like a new drinking game for you oh my god we should do that <laughs> so it's a single tier again because it's more of a it's that full of half comb you're creating more of, more of a look and then obviously i'm going to get some really sparkly for the best oh Oh, now I've changed my mind again. I'm all about the sparkle. She's gone back round. I don't know if you can see it on here or not. I don't know if you can see it, ladies, but... And then we've gone for a belt, which has got a little bit of detail on, a bit of sparkle. This is going to be interesting because I quite like it about the belt. Well, it's going to be interesting to see whether it... Like, you can me, play, can't you? You can. Yeah, just about to tell them. <laughs> for me, belts are a really good way, especially your bridal appointment, of playing around with certain looks. <laughs> <laughs> Mine! <laughs> because we've had ladies that have had dresses with belts already sewn on, that have had them unattached because they wanted to play around that idea a little bit more. I'd always say, unless you love bows um, or want to make it a, a feature of the dress, I would have the belt sewn on mm. and that's going to keep it nice for you on the day. You haven't got to worry about the bow and keep it in place more importantly because you don't want it moving on the day. And it'll look like it's part of the dress. I mean, yeah. you know, unless you want it to look like an add-on, a lot of people want it to look like they've bought the dress like that. As you can see, we've got more of a sparkly approach with this one. The camera's quite high. Hence why I'm on tiptoes. But you can see, we've gone for that different look. So, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Just give you a brief idea of what your accessories can do with a more simplistic dress to change the look of it. And you have to play around. We'd always encourage anyone that came into our shop that you want to play around with your accessories a little bit, especially with a dress like this. Because it might, it'll bend the way it needs to go for your wedding. And you'll know, once you put a look together, you'll be like, oh, this is what I want. But I think all these looks actually look very, very different. Yes. Like you think, oh, we've just had a few accessories. It's completely changing your look. And how good's that? Because you can have two different looks then. So remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more top tips on your bridal styling on your oh, wedding day. And remember the drinking game. Every time Jen makes up words, you take a shot. But maybe mine could be every time I stumble over my words. Yeah. Or, and then have a shot. Oh my God, ladies. Right off the next day then. Yeah, you don't remember. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya.